Hi there, this is Suzanne Lynch with the Better Health and Habits course. And I am here with my dear friend, Mo Horton. And she is here today to have a conversation about uh, meals and food and food combining. So um, in our course, I've had some questions about this. So Mo has more expertise in this area. So um, she's also a health coach and she has a, a public Facebook page called Simple Wisdom for Everyday Wellness. So, um, and Mo, they could just go, to, they could just put that in Facebook, Simple Wisdom for Everyday Wellness, and find your group and apply to be in the group, right? Absolutely, so, yeah, that would be great. Hi. Excellent. Hi. <laughs> it's great to see you. It's <laughs> so great to see you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate this. You're welcome. So we were thinking about starting out with, you know, kind of some big guidelines for people, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I think with food in general and eating, there are just some really simple things to remember. First of all, slow down. Um, sit down. Uh, chew your food. And really just be present. You know, try to shut down the electronics uh, or anything else that might distract you. Maybe even take a nice deep breath before you start to eat. And so that just kind of sets you up and sets your body up to receive not only the nourishment, but everything else that goes with the experience of eating food. Right. And so even like at lunchtime, say even if, you know, say I was by myself at lunch, sit down, you know, close the computer and really notice what I'm taking in and chew it, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, okay. even if it's only for 15 minutes, right. because it's very common now for people to work through lunch for a variety of reasons. And, you know, that's a, you know, can be a challenging habit to break. Well, so I, I even, noticed, you know, it's yeah. Like my, I mean, and like I'm noticing when I do that and continue to rush, you know, my stomach doesn't feel that great, you know, so I'm starting to put two and two together, but I didn't for many years, Mo. <laughs> right, and neither did I. I worked through many lunches as a working mom so that I could get out earlier at the end of the day, you know, that's very common, or just simply, you know, how the uh, modern world is and how busy it is and people just don't feel that they have the time to you know, take lunch. Right. But, so, but you're saying even if it's just 15 minutes, you know, a pause and a breath, and, and that is going to have an impact on your health. Absolutely. Term, absolutely. Really because, impact. yeah, because, you know, food is mood. So it's not only nourishment. It is um, the effect on the body and the mind. So, um, you know, there is this level of consciousness between the cells that has to be there. And if it's not there, um, your body doesn't function properly. So that's, uh, you know, that's one real um, important thing to remember. And when we're talking about food combining, of course, you know, food is mood is very important. And the reason it's important with food combining, say, when you're trying to change your habits, is the effect on your digestion. Um, because, you know, undigested food can cause all kinds of problems and create uh, what's called AMA, um, which is just a toxic substance in the body. And, you know, you don't really want that kind of stuff building up cumulatively so and, and in and, our, our western system just i'm just thinking some people might not have ever heard of that who might be listening so in the ayurvedic viewpoint they say that digestion is really where where your health comes from where your fuel to run your body comes from and when your digestion is off it gives rise to all kinds of problems in the body, right? Absolutely. Digestion is paramount. 
um, you know, any kind of interruption in the digestion, uh, you know, the likelihood of creating this alma over time and it building up, um, you know. That ends up when food isn't really digested, it accumulates in the body, like even in the joints and it causes, you know, it causes the body not to be running as efficiently and over time it builds up right so it gets worse and worse over time absolutely and you know um one thing we all want is more energy and well digested food oh. just gives you the most energy oh. um and so who who wouldn't want that so uh it's important to really begin to hone in on your awareness of the post-digestive effect on your body and your mind of the food that you eat. And, um, you know, that is where sometimes the food, com you know, combinations can come into play. Although I will say, you know, you don't want to get too crazy about it. It's really, in the beginning especially, it's about building just awareness and just simply noticing. Noticing, like, when you eat, I don't know, say, spinach and rice, how do you feel versus, I don't know, like a hamburger and rice, right? Right. You know, in your body, you could feel heavy. You could feel light. But, you know, even in the mind, am I foggy after I, you know, just ate, you know, something that was maybe higher in carbohydrates or something like that um, or something that didn't really mix well? Um, was I in a bad mood? Did I get down or did I get, you know, moody? Right. These are all things right. that really can tie back into right. what you put in your body. Right. Or did I have an energy crash after uh -huh. lunch? Um, you know, and if I, if I eat, you know, if I eat more greens, how does that affect my mood? You know? Right. That's interesting. Oh, good. Right. This, this is really helpful. Like I've, I somehow like I hear this, but I have never, <laughs> I've never digested it, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I've so one heard thing it. that's uh, really important is that I want to mention is raw fruit. Okay. Um, <laughs> because raw fruit is digested very, very quickly in the body, and so that uh, becomes very important when you're combining it with other things because. When you combine uh, raw fruit with other foods, the body will like burn through that, blow through it really quickly and kind of put it to the side if there's a, something else with it so it can then digest that. And so the whole process is kind of interrupted and you run the risk of like, you know, quote, it fermenting. And so that's where gas or bloating might come in. Um, or just simply, if it doesn't digest the food properly, then, uh, you know, the undigested food becomes an issue. Right. And so, and so it's like you were, I think we were talking about raw fruit. It's very good to have maybe as a snack in the afternoon, an hour before your meal at least, but it's not the greatest thing to eat for dessert. Yes, and that's a common misnomer because, you know, how many years, right, were we told that, oh, yeah, you know, uh, instead of chocolate or it's ice healthy. cream, right. have we some think, fruit. Right, fruit's healthy. We think we're doing a healthy thing, but our right. digestion may not, it may not work. Right. I mean, it, again, if the fruit is cooked, if it's, you know, cooked and warmed and put in a pot with other things, uh -huh. then of course it has time to, you know, kind of break down and it's more compatible for the body. But if it's, you know, fruit salad, say, or whatever, right. cold fruit right. salad, and you've already had a meal, right. that, you know, might not be ideal. So right. and, um, that's a great point to bring up the fruit for dessert. And, and would fruit fruit be good to have for breakfast as well? Yeah, absolutely. Again, warmed, cooked fruit, you know, some apples, you know, with uh, whatever you want, quinoa or green, oatmeal. Mm -hmm. um, if you were going to, you know, if you're somebody who maybe just wants to have raw fruit, you know, don't put it with anything else, you know, or put it, you know. 
like right now, I mean, we're getting into spring, but like citrus, like those little oranges. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah. Like, when is the time for me to eat those? But I've been eating them at breakfast. So. Right. And that brings up another point with, you know, the, the season coming in because you're going to hear people talking about smoothies. And so I just wanted to mention, um, you know, one of the, you know, um, pivotal combos that they really say is not ideal uh, for Ayurveda would be the milk and banana smoothie as a base. Now, again, when I say milk, I mean cows or goat milk. I don't necessarily mean you know, the almond milk, that would be okay. Would be okay. Um, and so, you know, that's important because both those foods have regular milk and banana have that energetic quality. They are very heavy. They're very mucus, you know, forming. And so it's very hard for the body to digest that. So that would be one combo you it's want to avoid. Together, right. So yeah. you want to avoid dairy and banana. Yeah, and you know, it, it, it would be great to make the smoothie warm, you know, warm up the milk or add some warm water. If, you, if cold smoothies are really your thing, don't deny yourself, but maybe you kind of shift that to have them in the warmer weather or maybe more at midday when the digestive fire is at its strongest and your body can really, you know, digest that properly. Right. And of course, there are other ways you could um, chew on a, get your digestion going before you have it. You know, chew on a piece of fresh ginger or use some warming spices in your smoothie, like cinnamon or cardamom or powdered ginger even. Right. So, you know, there's always ways right. to uh, even, tailor it. Right, or even you could put a piece of ginger in your smoothie. Uh -huh. ginger. Uh -huh. I mean, I do that in the winter and use warm water. Um but, um, yeah, it's like we want to look at the season we're in and what kind of food we're taking in, right? Because if it's freezing out and you have a freezing cold smoothie, I mean, at least me, I'd be shivering. Right. After that. Right. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And just one other uh, quick point I want to make about fruit is melons, Oh, yeah. You always, melons are the fastest, they're the fruit that digest the fastest, even faster than other fruit. So with melon in particular, you always want to eat it on an empty stomach okay. and you never want to eat it with anything else. You never want. So, you know, of course, the first time I heard that, I thought, oh, you know, no more prosciutto or with melon, you know, um, at the holidays at a brunch or something. But, you know, you have it, you notice the effect, but you just kind of have it in your mind, like, oh, I, I should enjoy this by itself. Right, right, by itself. And then and melon is more something that you would eat more in the summer when it's in season, too. Right. And, um, and it can have a really good cooling effect. Absolutely, absolutely. Too. I know, and then once in a while, I always feel like, you know, if someone serves me some prosciutto and melon, you know, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> so, that, so that's what I said, you know. To, know, you right, just... to notice. And that's what you yeah. were saying. Just like, um, and I like what you said earlier too, like don't deny yourself. You know, like like food can um, be a, such a source of love and support. People love to feed us and we want to be in communion with them and um, enjoying it so it's just Absolutely. like we want to we want to be aware of these things and like when possible start to notice I ate this how did I feel Absolutely, because the whole familial thing, every family has their thing. And, you know, your body might have even adapted to it. So maybe it might not be a recommended, you know, combination, but it actually doesn't really bother you. Whereas, you know, maybe someone else it does. But, you know, it's that whole thing. And maybe, you know, I think it t definitely ties back to being around family and friends, right? Feeling that love. There's a whole um, outer environment that comes into play along with your inner environment. Right. So it's all a balance. Right. So like this love and gratitude and relaxation that is great about eating, right? It uh -huh. wouldn't matter how perfectly 
organic and well balanced it was if we were ourselves you know feeling a lot of anger <laughs> when we right. or, or <laughs> grumpiness or whatever when we ate that so i feel like yeah it's like the primary like i i feel like the, like the because anya lives in italy there's like just such a beautiful enjoyment of food and life and so yeah. that's that's primary and we want to be be um especially if we are sick we want to be careful right yeah. you know because sometimes you're strong and you're you know you're okay with digestion but sometimes especially if i'm sick i have to be more careful yeah absolutely absolutely uh because uh and uh, you know then you just want to eat the simplest diet that you could, yeah. especially if you're not feeling well. That way your body is not expending energy, digesting heavier foods or whatever, and your body can right. put the energy into healing you. Right. Oh, that's great, Mo. That's fantastic. Well, well, thank you for being here. Are there any, like, final recaps? Yeah, absolutely. Just, you know, just a couple of quick reminders, a couple of strategies. Really, in the beginning, it's all about building your awareness, just simply notice, um, you know, this could be a, um, you know, you're just simply noticing, or you can maybe start a small food journal, just don't make it complicated, jot down a few things, uh, and if you notice that there are some combinations that you eat often, that, you know, you're like, hmm, you know, I'm feeling this or this, like, don't deprive yourself, maybe just reduce it a little bit, um, and just a reminder, you can always do helpful things to soak your digestion, right? Like we said, putting ginger in the smoothie, adding warm spices. And then, of course, all my favorites, you know, slow down, sit down, be here, be here now, chew your food. Uh, because in the end, if you love your body, your body's going to love you back. Great. Well, that's fantastic, Mo. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad we we uh, had time to do this, and and we will yeah. we'll be taking all of this in. So thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a great okay. day. Bye bye. Bye.